Hello there folks, this quick video today is going to show you how to build a simple program with Turk's RG network. Uh, I'm going to end up using the software tool, Turk's software tool first to show you how to find my device. So this is the Turk address tool, Turk service tool here. I'm going to hit the search button. It's going to go out and it's going to find that I do have a Turk device at this IP address here. It's an FEN 24 di P or DX, a uh, very nice product here, team. And notice it has supported an RG environment here. So uh, this finds the device on the network. If I wanted to uh, show it, I can click the wink command, and there's actually a red LED that would blink on that particular guy while that's clicked and so forth. But uh, I'm using this software tool to find it. You can also use this to change the IP address and so forth. So I've got that. I'm going to go ahead and shrink that down, and I'm going to open up the RG programming environment which is a uh, Google type uh, Windows based and I'm going to enter program mode since I have it connected this is the default IP address of well not default but it's the IP address I have it set to now program mode and you can see here this is the simple programming environment here and my example is uh, maybe just to take a input signal and uh, maybe I want a, a bottle of, I want to put uh, packages of uh, water a six pack of water or a 12 pack of water and uh, count it up to six and then it's got six in container and move it on so if I was to for instance uh, well since I'm doing a six pack I'm going to change the counter one here to number six that sets counter one to six if I hit the pole down here I can assign this an input value and let's say for instance I'm going to use input value number four as like a sensor going by the photo eye and every time that it sees a uh, bottle come by a plastic bottle I'm going to increment my counter so over here, I'm going to do counter one, and that's going to increment the counter. And then once counter one is met here, uh, you'll see that it uh, gets expired, if you will. Over here, then, what I'll do, maybe I'm going to have an output that turns on when counter one gets expired to maybe move the six-pack or 12-pack of bottles out of the way. So if I hit the pull down here, I can go down below, and I can choose counter one expired. And then when I that it happens there, I'm going to go over here and maybe I'll turn on a different output. I'll turn on output one or output zero, for, for instance, on this particular guy here. So according to logic here, this is going to count up to six. When it hits six, it's going to turn on an output here in the network here and uh, would be uh, reset. Now, I don't have a way here to reset the counter one. So I think what I'll do, uh, let's see here. This here comes across, turns it on. And then once this guy goes uh, on here, well, let's let's go ahead and test this. I'll hit the run button here, and we'll wait uh, 20 seconds. Hit it again here. We should be able to go to the run mode here. All right, you can now see I'm live here with it. So if I take my input signal here and hold it down one, you can see this line goes on. Counter here is set to six. You can see right here, folks, that the current value of the counter is set to one. Let it go. Go to two three, four, here's number five. When I go to number six, this next run should go on. There's number six, this is the outputs turned on, and that's it. Now you can see here that the counter will keep counting up because I haven't reset the counter. So I probably should add some kind of reset here uh, to reset the counter. So let me go edit here. And let's pretend that uh, when this counter, this output goes on, uh, actually, I'll use another input signal. Let's go down here. And let's choose input number five. We'll reset our counter and start our logic back over again. So if we go over here to this guy, we can reset counter one. And so we're going to pretend there's another photo eye then after that occurs that uh, maybe this output turns on, moves it, and then this one gets signals it's been moved. We'll reset our counter. So let's go ahead and try this out and see what happens here. So we start back over. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm looking at this number right here for my current value. So now you see that I'm at six here, but it doesn't get reset until the other input goes on. This guy right here resets it. That resets the counter. And now I'm ready to start all back over again and count my, to a six pack here. As I'm doing bottling, maybe a six pack here. Resets it. The other input goes on. 
resets the counter and so forth. And that's how you can change the count. And of course I could change this value here to some other number. I can't do it live, but I could do it uh, with a uh, HMI attached or something. But this is just a quick example team of how you can use Turk's RG uh, code to run simple logic with inside some of the devices that Turk has. Really cool product, really cool tools, capabilities here within some of the Turk IO stations. This, of course, I'm using an FEN20 station that's a really neat little product. Anyway, just thought I'd make a little quick video showing that. Thanks a lot. I'm going to add on to more of this so you'll see more videos coming with this example. Have a great day.